What is up, everybody? We are here with an amazing guest, you know, someone that makes the noise a lot. Tasty Steve, bro, how you doing, man? How's it going, Mr. Justin Wong? How are you, sir? Boom, there you go. You doing good? I'm doing all right, man. You, low key, you know me, man. I tell people all the time, I'm low key to the people who need me. Just yeah. let me play the game, watch anime, do my little comics, and then I'm staying out of the way. But once you need me, I'll come back. Yeah, you, you know, the way you say that, you're like, yeah, like, just leave me alone. But if you need me, I'll come through. But you're like one of the, the like most positive, loudest person that yeah. like, you like, people will know like, oh, I, I can hear you from across the hall type of thing. <laughs> yeah, like, you know how it goes, man. I feel like we're in the space now. You've been playing video games long enough, fighting yeah. games, I should say, where it's like, we're in the space now that like, it's here for like everybody to have fun. So yeah. I want to make sure that that is always the case while I'm also having fun myself, you yeah. know what I'm saying, so. All right. Well, you know, I got a series of questions I want to ask you. I always wanted to ask you. Right? Oh, snap. So, All right. Go, go off, Mr. Wong. Go um, off. Yeah, the first one, easy question. Okay. Um, why are you the hardest person to reach? <laughs> because getting, like, DMing you or whatever, oh it's a mission, Yo, you going to hit me with that with the first question? <laughs> Yo, damn. Um, so, first off, I will blame this on the fact that I'm gonna I'm blame it on the fact that once I get to the house, yeah. I literally take my phone, right? And you got iPhone, so you know what I'm talking about. I put it on do not disturb. Yeah. And then I slide it under my bed so I don't he see it. He said slide it under my bed. <laughs> I slide it, I got hardwood floor. Ain't I slide no it right under slide my it, bed. I don't believe you slide it in the bed, bro. <laughs> that way, it's harder for people to contact me. I'm not looking at my phone all the time because this is it's a thing, bro. People look at the phone. Actually, let me be it, it is 24-7. It's right? 24-7. But also, like, a lot of times, like when I get hit up, I'm literally either playing the game, yeah. playing Marvel Snap. Exactly, see, I tell you, like, he'd be like, I all I gotta do is get on Steam, you'll see me playing Marvel Snap. Yeah. And that's typically what I'm doing. So I just ignore a bunch. And I got like, I, I make noise, but I'm also like listening to music at the same time. Yeah. So a lot of times I miss a call. But if you ask a few people, I've been getting significantly better at actually either answering or just hitting people back. That's true. You've been, you've been texting me back. Lately. I've been trying, bro. I'm you've been trying. texting me back. <laughs> but I was like, I'm like, man, it's kind of hard to reach him, huh? <laughs> but when I'm in person, though, we hear, though, yeah, right? We, hear, though. Right, we, right. we definitely hear, See? though. Right. You did say you're, like, you're big in the music. Uh, we, we saw we saw each other in Coachella last yes, year. Yes, yes, it was right? actually a good time. I've been trying to convince this guy to come back to Coachella with me, man. It's, Sherry, I feel all so of, dusty. It is, it is. You know, all the is. sand and the desert. Uh, all right, um, I was there for Blackpink. Did, were, you, were you there? Did I you listen? Was. I did. And on top of that, like, I was legit crying. I was, it was one of those. It was an amazing performance. I took videos, sent it to the homies while I was watching it. So, yeah, yeah I'm one of those. So, I asked a lot of people, like, doing these, like, Run the Mindset series and everything. Okay. Uh, they always told me, no, I will not watch K-pop or listen to K-pop. Like, and I'm like, damn, man. But you're kind of the first person that's, like, you witnessed it. Like, yeah. would, you, would you recommend it? Yeah, I would. so uh, first off, let me give like a little context, right? Like I play like, you know, Pump It Up and stuff like that, DDR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my introduction for real, for real to like K-pop was like the Pump It Up dance game. Yeah, of course. And when I tell you, I'm like, oh, like, wait a minute. These K, they like the dance routines. Dance the music routine. is very like hip hop centric a lot of yeah. times or like R&B centric. So it's like, it always resonates with me. So like, I'll tell people all the time. I'm like, yo, Rose, remember I'm with K-pop, go listen. I, but I'm a big, big music guy. Yeah, like, I'm a big, music big guy. Music I know. guy you you know go to every concert. I go to every, if I like the music, I'll pull up and just chill. But in all honesty, like, I feel like if you really want to get into the music, play like, play like Pump It Up. I, I guarantee you, you can't play like Pump It Up, hear like the K-pop they have on there, and I'd be like, damn, I gotta go listen to K-pop. You know, when I play Pump It Up, I usually like the classic songs. The classic mm -hmm. songs, because the steps on it goes really hard. No, that's true. They got a, the, um, the, one of the, my favorite dance steps, and I, I coined it this because it's only, you can only do it on Pump It Up. It's like they do the out, in, out, yeah, with, yeah, and yeah. it's called the MC Hammer, so it was like, uh, <laughs> he uh, said uh. The MC It's called Hammer. the MC Hammer when they do out, in, out, but you switch sides anyways. Okay. But, yeah. No, I, I love the Beethoven song especially. Uh, uh, uh. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And it gets mad hard, like if you choose like the harder difficulty. It's nice. really hard, actually. I, as somebody who used to be crazy on the dance games, I know that that game is hard. You, you got to do it at like times eight to actually get everything, because otherwise the steps overlap and you can't tell unless you're like you're a god yeah. or some shit. So, so obviously you commentate um, lots of games. Yeah. Um, and I would say most of the time now it's like. People always want to see you on the mic for like Street Fighter. You know, yeah. you're in the game, Street right. Fighter. Hey, hey, hey. Right. You did Tekken World Tour last week at yeah. Combo Breaker. Um, which universe is stronger? Which universe is stronger? Yo. Which one? What's the power levels looking like? Okay, all right. Damn, you know we talk about power levels in anime stuff all the time. Yeah. So we got to put this into perspective, right? So, like, I actually 
feel like it's kind of time. You think so? C because look, like at first I would give the edge to somebody like say, actually I take that back. I actually I kind of take that back. I think Street Fighter because like in Street Fighter, like I feel like they haven't successfully. It, well, in Street Fighter, let's just say they kill people. Yeah, they kill right? people. And just recently, we haven't really had like an official death in Tekken. Spoilers until Heiachi, right? Everyone like, knows. Everybody knows. Oh though. no, man! I be running into people like, I'm a big Heiachi guy. What about that guy? I'm like, oh, I got some bad news. Pick right up. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Actually, that's true. But like, think about it like this. I, I have proof of this, right? There has been no successful like from the dead returns in Tekken. There's nobody that's really? been like he died and then they brought him back. Uh, but in Street Fighter, no, 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 no. Heiachi. No. In Tekken 5. Yo, so you should know this, Justin. In Tekken 5, when he supposedly died. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did you see you? So I was in the arcade when this yeah, game came out. Yeah, me too. Me right? too. So you remember what happened when they was like, Heiachi Mishima is, is dead, dead yeah. right? But then once you unlock all the characters, you see that, like, literally they do a zoom in and they show you Heiachi's body flying out. Where he uh, actually. Oh. Okay, they li right. they literally changed the yeah, intro because yeah, yeah, he throws. I remember That's the PS2 intro. Yeah, he okay. throws his body in there and then he's like, "Yo, Kaze is like, yo, I'm out." He's like, "Kaze," and then it blows up and then they show they show Raven. And he's like, "Heiachi Mashima is dead," and yeah. then it does the and you see the the some, body. Oh, right, no, nah, but Tekken Eight killed people. They, they, in the story, they, I think they, they, they earthed, they, they, I think they killed Claudio. I thought they did, but if you go to the outro, they uh, show, they show every, they show everybody. Like they, I thought that if you go back and watch me play it, yeah. you literally see me being like, oh, he's dead. Like there's no way. Cause Claudio looked like he was like, yo, I'm about to get yeah, he smoked. Got smoke, he got smoked. Right. Smoke. But at the end he's sipping tea with Safina and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. but that's why I say like Bison has switched bodies. Nash is a full-blown zombie at this point. Full-blown like, zombie. I feel like Street Fighter is stronger in that aspect. And two, like, they've always had projectiles. And, like, I just feel like they have, like, the most exaggerated, like, powers. Outside of, like, a fighting bear. Because most of the people in Tekken, like, they're just like, yo, we're going to fight. And then you get people with electric and stuff. And then the demons, like, they're, like, shooting beams and blowing yeah. stuff up. But I don't think... That's only a small part of like Tekken. Everybody else is like, I'm a prime minister from Poland and I know how to fight. Like, I'm just a martial artist. And it was like, yo, that guy's a demon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I would have to say, just based off of like raw strength, like, cause I don't think, I don't think that, I think M. Bison, like bad guy wise, is a bigger bad guy than like Heiachi, but maybe not a bigger bad guy than Kazuya. Yeah, Ka Kazuya, Kazuya in eight, the he dude. literally, He's the dude, bro. he was like, yo, bro, we gonna have a martial arts tournament, and if your countrymen loses, we wiping the continent off the map. Yeah. I was like, oh, like, <laughs> that when I saw that, that now, that's, now that's evil. Yeah. So I would put like Heiachi below Bison, but Kazuya yeah. above in Bison, like when it comes to being a bad guy. What about Akuma then? I think, Aku see, I don't think Akuma is a bad guy. I think he's just like, yo, y'all don't want these hands. Yeah. Like, he's literally, like, if he's in, like, a taco spot, like, he, he's just there chilling. Remember in B-Series, he was just selling fruit. But if you're like, yo, you know nah, who nah, I beat not, up? That's not lore, bro. That, that was, is lore. That, that was, like, that's, that's just a cameo, you know what I mean? That's, that's not lore. Like, pe right. people make fun of that. Right. Because, like, I mean, that's just, he's just there, bro. Selling fruit to kids. I ain't no way he, he, <laughs> But if one of them kids is like, yo, I'll beat you up, Mr. Akuma. He's like, you don't want none of the sauce, so we know how I don't. Like, like, I'm just saying. Hit the know? dot, dot, dot. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, that's what I think. I think Akuma's not a bad guy. I think Akuma maybe, like, he's a he's a bad guy in the sense that you don't mess with him. Yeah. But he's just literally like, yo, Ryu, you don't want to be super strong? And Ryu was like, I don't know, bro. I got to be, I got to hit the Anakin Skywalker. He was like, you just got to go with Anakin Skywalker mode. He's like, I don't know if I want to do that. So, so, you, so you, would you say that uh, nobody in Tekken could beat Akuma on a one-on-one -on -one fight? Not I don't like know. Like Devil Jin or... I don't, so the thing is. I guess Devil Jin was for Evil Ryu, right? Yeah, he's That's like Evil Ryu. I think, I, but the thing is about it though is like, I think that Akuma, Akuma couldn't kill Devil Jin. Like the whole point is like he's on some Hulk, like yo, yeah. you're not gonna kill me, right? So like, I don't think, I think that would be fun for Akuma. Akuma was like, oh, you just gonna keep fighting? I mean, think about it. Jin got shot in the head and yeah. he's like, nah, bro. <laughs> like you can't, how do you, you gonna hit him with a Raging Demon? You gonna be like, damn, I gotta hit him with another Raging Demon? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I say like, for Jin, it's different, but that's the reason why Jin's a good guy. Cause he, I mean, he, he a good sort guy. of. Yeah, he's right. I mean, he did start a world yeah, war. Yeah, you know sort what I'm saying? of, sort of. But yeah, I think that like Okuma is just like he's on his own path. Yeah. Like we've seen this before, where he's on his own path, and like Jin and them are too intricate to the story to just be like by themselves. Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, what got you into commentary? Like, how did how did that all start? Like. 
So what happened was, if you ask like Brawl Pro, like he's like a newer Tekken player, yeah. a lot of people, shout outs to the Sage Jam Slam and all the people there. Um, like, and this goes back to Unconquerable, who now works for Riot, yeah, he'll yeah, tell yeah. you as well. Um, and just anybody who knows me from St. Louis, like, they know, I used to go over to my homie's house, Rick the Ruler, he'll tell you, we used to have like major hookups, have like eight, nine, ten people over playing Tekken. Yeah. And what, when that would happen was, when I wasn't on the game, when I was, when, after I lost, and was, I would literally just stand up and like talk about what's happening. Yeah. I, obviously in a more like comic way, like, oh man, you get me, you know what I'm saying? In a lot more comic way, but, I didn't realize that like that's what I was doing. I was commentating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't realize that I was literally being like, oh, Snappy hit him with the God Fist. Like, I didn't understand that that's what I was doing. So literally, I just we had hookups and I would just be standing there like after I lost. And even sometimes when I was playing, be like, oh, you suck, you know, like, you know how it goes. But no, you it, were just talking. Right. It's kind of like how um, there's like video of Yipes where he's like talking in the background of Chinatown Fair. It's kind of like same thing. You're just, it's the same thing. You're just, you're just talking, enjoying the vibes and it just boom. Yeah. So I guess like when commentating happened, like there was a live stream, you're just like, it just threw you on the mic. Dude, so once again, I remember this. I was at Super Arcade. Okay. So, like, so this is like the WNF first time. Type this of is, yeah, so the first time, right? Like, they were doing like an Electric Wing Godfist Fridays, and Eris was there, and Eris was on the mic solo, and I was just literally standing in front of the booth watching. And like, Eris was looking at the chat, right? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, man, you know, it's just me, man. I don't know what you guys want me to do, blah, 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 blah. blah. And it was like, I need like a fellow commentator or whatever. Mm -hmm. And one of my homies was in the chat, AJ. He was like, get that. And I was wearing like a blue cardigan at the time. Yeah. He's like, get that dude in the cardigan. Get that dude in the cardigan. He knows how to talk about games. Yeah. And literally, Eris is like, okay. And then they put me on the mic. And then like, literally, he's like, all right, you actually do know how to talk about the game. And although I was still like a little rough, because like I said, I wasn't thinking about it. But yeah, when it comes to professional I feel like commentary the first time people actually heard me was probably Electric Wayne Godfist Fridays okay like on a bigger stream I mean shout out to like STL Bar Wars because I used to go and do that a couple times but we didn't really have the numbers like that and this happened like a little bit afterwards but yeah it kind of like grew from there so uh Wednesday Night Fight Super Arcade like the locals the local that's why I say support your locals support your STL locals STL Bar Wars if you know STL Bar Wars you know I was actually in there if you went to Dano's with me in St. Louis Missouri you know exactly what I'm talking about but yeah, it kind of just started from that, man. It's no different than like us, like you said, Yipes talking smack in Chinatown Fair. Yeah. Like it just turned into its own thing, and now like it's a full blown like. There's people out there that don't know what they're looking at. They're just like, hey, what's going on here? It's a, it's a video game, and it's like being able to be a voice to kind of give way and legitimize like how hard it is to like actually perform at this level and talk about matches like yours and and the punks and the mental rds and the jdcrs yeah. and like that is not a skill that everybody can attain like that is like that's something you can train to do but you got to remember those guys put in a lot of work and it's my job i feel like now to make it not feel like just any regular person can go up on the stage and be the daigo or you or a men rd i want you listening to the owner and be like nah you can't beat me so you definitely ain't beating them let that's me, my job let me tell you about the power levels here. That, that's what i'm doing i'm telling i'm like look you, if you can't beat me you for damn sure can't get up there and beat yeah. them that's my understanding of it. I want other people at home. This ain't like basketball where you can just constantly go to the park and be like, look, I can make five jumpers in a row. I'm like, that ain't the NBA, I mean, bro. grandmas can make three pointers Yo, now. they they can, and that's why fighting games are specific, because They're you put that better, time yeah. in, you're going to actually get better, but it still takes time, and we got people out there that's been doing this. They got battle scars, you know what I'm saying, from playing fighting games. So it's really about me making sure that, like, whatever I'm saying, it is to convey how good the people are playing. Like, I know people like, yo, man, commentators are on screen more than the players. I'm like, yeah, but I don't need to be on camera. Yeah. I, you literally can just hear my voice. You just hear voice, yeah. And you still know what's happening and I'm cool with that but that's my goal man I want to okay. make sure people understand have respect for our field because I respect fighting games a lot and the people that do it bro so it ain't easy so I want everybody else no to you, do you the guys same. definitely do a great job you guys got to research yeah. study like you know like a lot of times I love the little things where you're like yeah I watched this guy stream yeah like for when real. you were bringing up like the storyline of like AK winning last week like he was a little kid during Tekken Tag 2 you listen, were telling me listen listen I'm gonna tell you shout outs to AK and Doja and just everybody in the Philippines yeah bro. 100% when I tell you I knew AK AK, he was, I'm short. AK was like right here. I'm like, oh, hey, hey, hey AK. And now he's this tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's this, he's taller than me now. So, and I've literally been watching him before then. So when I tell you that I'm looking at him play tag two and go, I've been to the Philippines. I had seen like the love they have. And AK has been like one of those players. And you write about that. Like, I want people to understand that journey is not just some 
over the night thing. Like he's yeah. been waiting years to years. get, and he's been fighting the best play, the knees, the the the. I mean, anybody, the JDCRs, the the Nobies, like they've literally been trying to attain that kind of victory for years, and he finally got it. And to see him get it, like I'm trying to see that for every player. I want to see, I want to be able to tell that story no matter what. I want to be like, man, you guys remember when he did this or when this happened, and this was six years ago. And I want to be able to make sure people understand that there is always history, man. Every time you watch a fighting game event, you're literally watching history. Yeah, You're 100%. actually watching history. So I want people, to, I'm trying to convey that as best yeah. as I can. Because when you when you guys do bring that up, it's kind of reminds me of like an anime flashback. Yeah. Or, you know, that type of thing. So I really like that. So what, um, like how many beads do you wear? Like what, what defines <laughs> beads goes onto your arm? I have an order, actually. An it, order? It, it's, it's actually always the order. I can't tell you the order because we're being it's recorded. It's secret. It's, yeah, because that'd be crazy. I can't tell you the order. But I literally have an order, and every one of them have a story. And two, like I said, like, I'm a practice of Buddhist, right? Yeah. But, like, these aren't all, like, mala beads, like, centered around Buddhist. It's literally some of them are given to me by close friends, right? So, like, this one right here, right? Yeah. It has a name, right? Now, okay. you, you might not know this name, but you've definitely seen him around before. Oh, Tokido. Thirst Strike Player. Exactly. So, yeah. you know where Shakabe is from, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. He's from Missouri. That's like a brother to me. Yeah, I played and, him in Thirst Strike a few, few times. So, and on top of that, like, when he went to him and his brother, like Shokabe and, Sh and Shahabe, they traveled around uh, Japan for a while. And you know who was, like, giving them, like, the ones and twos? It was Tokido. Yeah. So, when I showed Tokido, I was like, hey, you know my friend. And he was like, who's your friend? And he was like, oh, you know Shakabe. So, I sent them a video and yeah. the whole nine. And, but yeah, like they all have a story. They all like mean something different. And like some of them always don't make it. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are broken over time. I broke one in Capcom Cup. Oh, did you? Yeah, dude, because I was doing like the t-shirt cannon yeah. and one of them popped off and I still haven't, I haven't recovered from that. That's like losing a <laughs> pet, bro. I haven't recovered from It was like losing a pet, bro. So, but yeah, I, I, a lot of beads, a lot of stories. I even got backups though. So just in case they break, I got like black backups. Do you have to take them off when you go to the airport? Yes. Really? All the time? So what happens is a lot of times like people see me in the airport and what's crazy enough they recognize me without the beads. Yeah. But like I've been on a plane and like they get caught on stuff. Like in the little small confined yeah, small. spaces and like these kind of dangle. You see this yeah, like yeah, yeah, anything yeah. gets caught here, boom, snap, break, right? So I literally what I'll do is I have like one bead that I put on when I'm on the plane and I leave that one on when I'm on the plane and once I land and get settled then I put the beads on. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's cool. I was wondering like because there's no metal. It's no metal. So like, nah, nah, it's nah. not gonna go off when you go through exactly, the thing. But they're exactly. like, they look. They're like, oh, that's kind of weird. Somebody or said whatever, it though. Right? Like, it's crazy because like I see like the full blown like monks sometimes, yeah. and they see the bees. Like, they walked up to me and be like, oh man, like oh, I see. Like. It's been and they. I'm talking about a full yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. full full outfit. And, and they've seen it. They're like, yo man, you got. And, like obviously a lot of times I'm not even understanding what they're saying, but I was like, hey, look at like look at this bee. They call one over before. He's like, yo, come look at this. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. They was like, and they hit me with the bless, and I'm like, yo, bless, you know, and keep going. Why do you hate peas? Why do I hate peas? What are peas good for, Justin? Um, it just tastes good. Peas taste good? I want you to put a poll out there. Peas definitely taste good. I, that's not true. Well, okay. I don't think do, that's do, true. Do, do, you, do you hate every type of pea? So, so one, it's, it's like, look, all right. It's let, just a green pea. It's just, listen, listen, wait, let me put, I'll, I'll put context to this, right? So if you eat peas solo, it literally just tastes like vomit, like little what? green, like vomit. Like, no, I'm just saying, doesn't. like, I don't know. Like it's gross, bro. It could be sweet. It could be. I don't know about. That. How do you? How do you turn green mush into sweet? No, no, no. Like it's not. First of all, it's not. It's what's it's, inside okay. of pea, Justin? I mean, it's, it's kind of, mush. It's kind of like a tapioca. Oh my, that's tapioca to you, no, bro. Like, like not like the chewy version, but like the little pop. Like it's a a pop. That's disgusting. No, that is gross. It's very good. I can't believe you got your daughter out here eating peas, bro. She gonna grow up one day and she gonna be like, I can't believe you made me eat I'm, these. I I feel like you're you probably just had bad peas. All right, I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a story, right? I'm gonna tell you guys a story. I remember when I was younger, right? My mom tried to get me to eat peas, right? And she was like, yo, Steve, you're not leaving this table till you eat these peas. And I was like, I'm not eating these peas. And I literally, I sat there and I crossed yeah, my arms. So she legit got the peas and put them on my plate and was like, well, you're not going to sleep. I was like, Pfft. the minute you go in that room, I'm gonna go in there and go to sleep. But she didn't go to sleep for a while. So I was sitting there, I was like, Peas, I hate you. <laughs> so they, it basically turned into a person for me. Like if peas was a person, I'll probably have to fight them. I okay. think that's just what happens. But look, and also for context, right? Like if I get 
food that automatically have peas in them. Like, it's not like I'm gonna go in and remove all the peas, but like, if it's more, too many peas, I'm literally like, hold on now. Like, I'll remove the peas, like, that Completely. is an over one excessive. One by one? Yeah, dude. Like, if there's an excessive I'm amount good. of peas in my dish, I'm moving them to the like, side. Like, I mean, they got beef with green peas over rice. That's pretty good. Chances are, like, I would, like, it just depends, right? Like, if it's, like, covered in something and I don't, like, immediately no, see it. No, you're going to see it. It's, it's green. See, it's I visible. can't. Yeah, see, but, like, it ain't like I got beef with, uh, like, if you give me, like, you know, I love broccoli, you know what I'm saying? So you don't like, do you like edamame? Edamame? Yeah, I like edamame. I mean, because that's kind of like a pea. It is, but it's, like, it has a different taste. Yeah. Right? It's more solid, for See, sure. right? Like, it's okay. mush. So you just don't like the pop. I, that's not a pop, Justin. It Stop saying pop. that. It's not no goddamn soda. Because if it, that's disgusting. <laughs> It's like a pop. That's not no, a no, pop. Like, like a balloon, like like a pop. Like when you bite into it, it just. Boom. What kind of peas are you eating? No pea dust. <laughs> like, so I'm just saying boom. that's what the green pea does. There's certain there's certain desserts that do it. There's like this thing called like it's a you know how when you get like bubble tea and you can add toppings. They have a similar thing that's kind I of. I love a popping bowl, but I love. That's the same thing. No, as a it is pea. not just. It's just a different flavor. That's not true. What pea, what kind of pea consistency are you eating that they pop like balloons hey, dude, in your mouth with a little green I mean, mush that, of flavor? You're, that's what you're down for? That's, that's, that's kind of what it is. I can't, I can't, I can't, bro. My man is over here fighting for the peas right now. I can't believe it. <laughs> like, uh, when you were growing up, what kind of cartoons were you, like, into? So, I am a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Who's I'm your a, favorite turtle? Uh, I'm, I always say I'm a Michelangelo guy. Okay, Michelangelo. Because cool. he's like the. And it's funny, like sidebar, like that when they went to, like they did like the updated versions, the Michael Bay ones, which nobody likes. But Mikey was the Zen dude. He was like, yo, man, I'm just at peace. I'm happy to be myself. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, as I got older, like, obviously everybody likes Leonardo. Like, I like rap because he's got the attitude. I, and I like all the turtles, but when I say the one that most resonates with me, like, it's probably like Mikey. Mikey. Yeah, yeah, like, that's my boy. That's yeah, my Mikey boy. is cool. He's a cool guy, man. I feel like he's the, he's the least, like, compromised, I feel like, when it comes to, like, just having, like, this angst against the world, right? Yeah. Like, Donnie has, like, he's, like, burdened with knowledge, right? Leo is the leader. Rap is, like, bro, like, I'm the muscle. I, I'm hate, like, I hate rap. You hate rap? You're you wearing red right now. You hate rap? Nah, I hate rap. What's wrong with rap? Hold Be on. You know why? Because in the, in the movie, it's always him that causes the trouble, Actually, bro. that's facts. That's facts. Right? It's always him, like, damn, you would just get in trouble for no reason? That's facts. He's actually causing mad ruckus. Right? That's actually him. <laughs> I, like, I ain't gonna that. even stop. And you know what's crazy? I just, I was just re-watching, like, I just put it on in the background, like, the first, like, Ninja Turtles thing, and it was literally just him. Yeah. Going at everybody. So, no, 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 you're right. Dang, so wait, who's your favorite turtle? Um, I like Mikey. Mikey? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. One of the same, one of the same. I, I like that. I, when they had the, the Street Fighter Avatar thing, I bought Mike, the, the Mikey outfit. Even though it cost mad, it was mad expensive. So, question. Do you know about The Last Ronin? The Last Ronin? No. Man, you want me to blow your mind right now? Uh -huh. All right. So the last Ronin is a comic book series yeah. about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. And the reason that it's called the last Ronin, I'm not going to spoil you, but what happens is all the other turtles are dead except for one. And in the story, they don't tell you which turtle it is because yeah. the last turtle has all of their all headbands the and, all, and all their weapons. Okay. So little, and he's like mourning all the time. It's oh, like some Batman. Man. That it's sounds deep. crazy it's deep. already. Not, and I know who that turtle is. The thing is, you should read it. I have the collected hardback. It's one of the craziest comic books I have ever read. In my it's yeah. so it's it's crazy. I never got into comic books, but like you should I, check it out. Yeah. Oh, they're making a, a movie off of it. Oh, are they? They literally. Oh, just, I'm nah. one of those guys. If there's a movie, I'm in there for I'm sure. I'm one of those. You know, I know this kind of stuff. They're literally they just and it's probably it has to be rated R. That's the thing. I yeah. think it has to be on some the original live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because the, the other turtles are dead. Yeah. So like literally, how do they sell that? You I mean, know? yeah, that's true. Because when the the movie Logan came out, that was rated R and like because everyone died and everything so I guess you have to make a rated R to, you got to, to. to set that like sad premise right yeah. um, do you work out or is a or do you have a blessed build given by God <laughs> I work out bro I work out I'm trying to catch up to John Ding bro like I'm gonna tell you right now I'm actually me and John Ding I think when we were in uh, where were we at the last time we were in either like where are we at? We would it just in the gym together. But no, I go to the gym like three times a week. Okay. And I wake up and I do like a ab conditioning thing, like four minutes of ab conditioning, 
and then I start my day. So if I don't go to the gym, then I do ab conditioning, I'm cool. But if I go to the gym, wake up, ab conditioning, an hour in the gym, then we start my day. Because right, you know who doesn't work out and has a blessed bill given by God? L.I. Joe? Yes. Yeah, bro, I've bro, heard that, bro. He I heard L.I. Joe was just like blessed. That's he's why he's blessed, a big Urian bro. guy. He's about Urian because Urian like, bro, I don't even need to yeah, do I was just made like he's this. He's just blessed. He came out as a rock, bro. Like <laughs> A, a ball-headed yeah, rock. Ball he just formed and he's like, I am Long Island Joe. Yeah. Damn, you're not the first person to tell. It's crazy how I knew you were talking about. Because I literally, somebody I saw, I ain't going to even say their name. We was watching Joe walk by, and he was like, yo, look at this guy. He don't even go to the gym. I'm like, wait a minute. He don't go to the gym. He's like, <laughs> look at this made. guy. He was like, he's just made like that. Yeah, man, he is just made jealous. like that. It was insane. Shout outs to L.I. Joe, bro. Show me the ways, man. Show show, show everybody the right? ways. Right? Make, like, make a video about it. How do you do it, you know? Can you break somebody's arm? I mean, look. I feel the, like you, because, you know, you know, Rip and you... He's like, Steve, my arm. Like, I don't even know if that's like joke or if that was just in the moment or you actually was squeezing the crap out of his arm. So what happens is like, I've, I've been trying to get better. I've actually been, been trying to get, I've been trying to get I better. I have a problem. I know I have a problem because legit, even when I'm commentating at home, I start reaching for it. I'm like, oh, and if I touch, bro, I've broken my mic in my house commentating. Like, I oh, look, wow, really? Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm like, oh, my boots. And I just hit it and it just like it's been broken but can you look i ain't gonna say look i will not purposely try to hurt people but if you are in range you know what you're getting into ask markman says he has tech right he says he has tech to get away but like if you're here like if you're in range and i got long my, i got pretty good reach yeah and my hands are big if i can get anything anything I'll yeah. get, i got you like that's you know what I'm that saying? was already tight yes <laughs> No, because I witnessed somebody's arm getting broken at an FC event. But, like, not off of, like, some violent thing. Okay. I'll tell you the story, right? We're All at, right, go off. We were at first attack for uh, Street Fighter 4. Shout out to Mono. Shout out to Mono. Um, and um, they were, like, it was crazy because I was, like, yeah, like, um, I see these two guys next to each other. One's Rico Suave. And the Shout other, out to Rico Suave. Right? And the other guy was, like, a, you know, big buff Puerto Rican dude. Okay. The scene. And I was, like, I think Rico Suave would actually beat you in arm wrestling. <laughs> So right. this is your fault that this guy's arm got broken. Sort of. I mean, and everyone started side betting on it because that's what we do in FPC. So we started side bet and it was a stalemate. I kid you not, no one was budging. And then literally all of a sudden, you just hear snap. And the guy's like arm just twists. Oh! Oh! And, and, he, and, he, and the guy didn't feel any pain. He like didn't know what happened. And Rico's like, uh-oh. Right? And this he, is not funny. No. But this story is crazy. And the guy had to go to the hospital. Oh my god. Yeah, like like literally they took him to the hospital. I like I don't remember the guy's name, but I feel like if somebody from Puerto Rico that was at first tag, like Mono definitely will remember because yeah. he was there. Oh my but literally god. Literally his his wrist just bam. It's like a Mortal Kombat thing. Yo, duh, duh, duh. Yo, oh and there god. was and there was just no emotion from both sides. Rico's just looking at him like, yo, you good? <laughs> like how you gonna snap? Hey, are, are you okay? It's because I guess the other guy's adrenaline was still in rush, right? Like from arm wrestling and trying to win. But it was like a stalemate and they, that was how strong they were. Oh my God. See, this is... Dang, Justin, you basically broke that guy's arm. Nah, I did not. I, you basically broke that I, guy's I, arm. I, I just thought maybe something, you know, would be cool if they, we had an arm wrestling contest. Hey guys, arm wrestle right now. See who wins. You got it, Justin Wong. Just, oh God! Like, you had to go to the hospital. You know, I always tell people like when um, when you're very excited about something, you're very good at selling. Like I feel like yeah. if you if you were like a salesman of dry paint, <laughs> you would be able to sell me dry paint. Well, how do you have that mysterious power? So, first off, I would tell you right now, I call it like I, I'm one of those people that, and I've said this for years, right? I only talk about the things that I like, yeah. right? That's why, right? Like, I, I obviously I don't like everything, right? But let's just say that like there's something that I don't like. I won't put that kind of energy into like the same kind of energy into hating, unless I really hate it. Like yeah. if it was peas, right? Because you know <laughs> peas. But let's just say, right, that like I love it that much to where I invite people. Like when I'm like, yo, go, come check this out with me. 
I want you to know how I feel about it. So I'm always gonna kind of exude that. I'm yeah, always yeah, gonna. Yeah. But my friends say that like it's an evil power. Cause I remember I've been, I've told people to go see movies and like we went to see it and the movie sucked. I was like, but the trailer, bro. But the trailer. Like, and he was like, Yo, Steve, you sold me. He's like, I didn't even need the trailer. You told me to go see this movie and it sucked. I was like, I thought it was gonna be better. So you know. But I personally like, I tell people all the time, I don't use my powers for evil. I only use it to pump up the things that I like. If it's Dragon Ball, if it's anime, if it's video games, if it's like a sick movie, like stuff like that I'm really into. And obviously I feel like I'm really good at it, but also like people were trying to hire me. But when I used to work around one, I remember a guy, he walked up to me and I was working on the floor. And he's like, man, you sold this entire like arcade to me. I want to play everything. Yeah. He's like, you ever thought about getting into like selling cars? And he was like, I own a dealership. Like oh, I walk. That's dude. cool. He dead ass was like, yo, I will hire you. To he's like, you're so good at this. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think it works the same. And he was like, why? He's like, I was like, I don't like cars. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Right? I was just be like, hey, this car, V8 engine. It's, uh, it's got electric it functionality. Fast. It goes fast. Get you from point A to point B. Slap it on the top. It's yours. It, like, I feel like I would be bad at that, right? But if you like your Steve, did you just see that new episode of X-Men 97? And I'm like, bruh, did you see the new ep? Oh, you, I watched the You watched it? You know I got like, so, so you know I have like this thing, like, because I'm a big comic guy. Yeah. I have my lore of what happens next and what the final finale meant. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's crazy. You probably... Some people probably don't want it to be the case, but like I have concrete evidence to oh, actually really? support this. Okay, I mean we're not gonna like spoil. All right, good, good, because yeah, I ain't gonna because I because I feel like a lot of people like maybe still haven't right. seen it yet or anything like that. But yeah, we could talk about it like later. But I, I enjoyed every episode of it. See stuff like that now. I can talk to you about that. If we're talking about comics, yeah. we're talking about Marvel movies, we're talking about anime, we've talked about anime multiple times. He's trying to still have not watched Haikyuu and a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah. But like those things, like they really get me excited. And I feel like there's no point in us being in this space to like share something like, fight. we all like fighting games, right? The icebreaker is that. But if I find somebody that kind of like resonates with the same other things that I like, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna be excited about it. It's, it's, I'm trying to find more people to get into these things with. Yipes, woke, I was at Lee Chung House. Do you know when I first saw that first episode? Yipes understands it. He woke me <laughs> up at like 3 a.m. because we were both sleeping. He was like, yo, Steve, I was like, what? He was like, the episodes. And I was like, all right, let's go. And literally, we woke up, watched the episode. We watched it three times in one oh, day. Oh, for 97. Yeah, the first one, the first episode, because okay, I was in okay. New York when it dropped. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. stuff like that. like. Those are the kind of things that I'm always gonna like tell people, check it out, I'm excited about it. I love these things. And like, this is just how I've been since like I was a kid, man. Like I've always been into the things that I'm, I'm really, really interested yeah, in. And course. I'm always gonna try to make mm. sure that other people enjoy it too. You Who's know? your favorite character from the X-Men 97 show? From the X-Men 97 show specifically, yeah, I gotta go to with, one. you know what, just to let people know. Oh man, I'm, I'm, this is tough. All right, all right, so it's either, because I always do the choices, right? It's either Wolverine or it's Cyclops. Wolverine? I'm a big Wolverine guy. Nah, but he was kind of bad. Dog, wait. Did you not? I love Wolverine. Listen, no, 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 no. I was, he was kind of bad, though, dog. Un until the end. No, dog. But in the beginning, he was kind of, he was a jobber in the beginning, listen, bro. All right, I, I can explain this, right? So one, Wolverine has always been that way because in the old cartoons, they can't show Wolverine like actually cutting people. Yeah. So back in the day, he was mad jobber status. Yeah. And as somebody who read the comics, I'm like, bro, he literally just be like, he'll like go to somebody with his claws out, retract his claws and then punch him. I'm like, what the hell? Like you should have just stabbed that guy. Yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing? But in X-Men 97, like he was going off. Nah. Like, no, 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 no. Bro, I ain't no spoilers. But you, you don't, when, when, when they was, the, yeah, the yeah, man, yeah. you know what I'm talking, and then they were in the air, and then he was falling back down, no? Okay, I mean. No, you, you, you no, and then, oh, no, you wild, you Justin, know what come on. I, I just, I guess I just feel like he's just always hanging out with Morph and just Jobber, bro, and, you know, Gene, and, yeah, you know, maybe another time, another place. I don't know, you wildin'. But also, also to throw some fire on it, Cyclops, bro. I think no, Cyclops they stepped, redeemed they stepped him. Cyclops, bro, bro. When, it, when, when he showed up, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, he was yeah. up. I'm trying not to, I'm, I'm not no, trying I'm to I'm just spoil. saying, yeah, they definitely stepped Cyclops up. My favorite, um, uh, besides, Storm. yeah, besides Storm. <laughs> but the problem with Storm was like, it took her, for me, it took her too long, mm. right? To kind of like put her, put her thing To put there. her story back in. But I like, I liked the direction that they give to her. They gave her like this amazing side quest or whatever, right? 
but my favorite was Gambit, bro. Yo, Gambit went out like a G, though, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. I, I got to say, Gambit Rem actually put on. Remember my name, bro. Remember my name. Oh, <laughs> remember the name. Oh, all the cards always fall in our face. Bro, yo, shout out to Gambit, bro. Remy Gambit Lebo. was good, bro. Gambit was good. I love that. Damn, that show was so good. What do you want to do in the next five, ten years? In the next five or ten years? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. So what I'll be... Ooh-wee. 10 years, I'll be 50 years old. That's crazy. Whoa, yeah. I'll be, I'll yeah. be, because I, I turned 40 this year. Okay. But I will say, next five or 10 years, oh my gosh. I don't even think that far ahead, bro. I just like to, to live in my little moment, man, and make sure I everything okay. But um, I would say in the next, and I'm, I'm gonna try to make these concrete things, right? Um, damn, I don't even know. I'm like, would to, you still be commentating in 10 years from now? If if I can, then yeah. yeah. If I can, like, the thing is, like, I tell people all the time, and, and this is a good point, right? Like, I will always love to commentate. As long as I am a viable resource for commentary, I would love to still commentate. Whether I'm doing something else, maybe take Seth Killian, right? right? Like, Seth Killian is still very strong when it comes to, like, his understanding and love for the community, but he's moved on to greener pastures, right? Like, he's one of these people that's, like, stepped up. And I think something like that, right? I just don't know what that looks like. Whether it be, like, just me being like a lot more in tune with, you know, the fighting game development. Cause a lot of my friends are getting into fighting game yeah, development. Yeah, I could right? definitely see you being like the marketing manager yeah. for like a big fighting game company, yeah. right? To do like cool events and I would love to do that. Like, I feel like you would be able to sell the big, like, you know, the, the big honchos at the yeah. top that don't like to do cool stuff. You'd be like, yo, but we could do this, we could do that. Yeah, I could, I, I think, would love that. Yeah, I think you would kill that, kill out that. It's crazy cause like, I would. I think I would. And like I said, these are things that I like. Like, it's not like I'm selling a car, but it's like, hey, we're trying to throw a video game event and we want it to be a little music centric. Yeah. Or have, I could be like, oh, I, I can know exactly what to do. We need art. We need acts for this. Like, perfect example, right? They had Lil Wayne at like Capcom Cup, right? He did a whole commercial and stuff, right? And uh, the prize pool for Capcom Cup was a million dollars, right? Why did they not have Lil Wayne out there and perform a million, the song a million? Uh, Think about the halftime. Yeah. Like, a million, a million, and like a million in here, I, I a million totally in I totally forgot about Lil Wayne doing the whole Street Fighter thing, because yeah. it was so It, it was, was kind of flashy. It was yeah. kind of like a flash in the pan, like, uh, Street Fighter. It just Fighter. came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was like just pre-recorded and everything. But yeah, I, I get it. that was that would be a cool idea with the million with the million dollar yeah, idea. But that's why I say you that's that's a good thing though. Like obviously like on some real life stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take the just a long route, eventually get a family, you know what I'm saying? If the universe deems it so, start a family, you know what I'm saying? Make my make, get my dad off my case because my dad's like, yo, Steve, I'm getting old, bro, and I'm like, all right, chill, you know. But you know. Yeah, just just go raw if you're ready. <laughs> that's just Literally, it's just a simple process. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to do it, but he did it. <laughs> oh my I, God. I just, Yo, I'm Justin, just, what, the Wazzler. Oh. I'm just saying, bro, you know, eventually when you get to that route, if you want, I can, I, I, you know, every parent has a tip on how to make it happen. That's all I say. <laughs> Justin, shut up, bro. Yo, nah. Bro, it was funny because in Japan, we were at, I was eating. Um, and it was like a bunch of us, right? And okay. this guy from Singapore, and he was like, yeah, I'm trying to have kids. So I'm telling him, oh, this is what I did and everything. And then Sherry's next to me and she's like, shut up, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know, stuff like that. I'm a man I got the tips, yo. Dude, I'm telling you, every parent has a, has a That's tip. That's crazy, bro. On, I'll, on why or how they got like, you know, their significant other pregnant. Oh my God. Uh, well, once I get there, I'll, I'm gonna hit you Yeah, you let up. me know. I'll, 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 I'll tell you, you the position. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yo. <laughs> for, people, for people who wanna be uh, the next, like you, or oh, like inspire. God. To be commentating or make some noise like what do you think is the best advice for them i say this a lot and i know people probably get tired of hearing it but you shouldn't so go to your locals man support your locals yeah um start at the ground like i feel like there's so many people i've talked to people who have told me that they're like oh man i don't think i need to play the game and i don't think i need to be this into it and i'm like i don't think that's the case like because for somebody like me who takes this super seriously like i'm looking at that so start at your locals play the game and like find your voice like a lot of people like and, and i'm glad that i inspire people but i don't want people to be out there like oh yeah i'm the next tasty steve right like 
I want you to be the next, your own thing. Because it was a long time where I wasn't comfortable. I wasn't, I didn't have faith in my commentary yeah. for a long time. And it was because, like, I didn't have my own, like, voice. And, like, sometimes I used to second guess it and be like, well, maybe if I want to be, like, more articulate. Maybe I want to be, like, get them with the frames. But how do I work that in to my commentary? And that made me kind of second guess myself a lot. But that's why I say, like, you got to find your own voice. Because not everybody's meant to be, like, the numbers guy. Not everybody's meant to be the shout caster guy. Yeah. And you got to know how to play that. You know what I'm saying? So I would say go to your locals, play the game. Find your voice. Oh. I think those. I think those are all really good tips. Organic, right? Yeah, you I have was, to make yeah. it organic. Don't like. Don't force it. Cause I know some people out there that is like, yo, man, I just like. They're, trying, they're the trying to speed run. Yeah, bro. I, I, like, I, have yeah. A, I have a bunch of people tell me, like, how do I become a pro player? And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, it doesn't really work like. It that. don't work like, like that, bro. Like, like you have to have passion, right? You can't force it. And too, like, also, like, I gotta say, like, once again, why I got you on camera. Bro, you've been stepping up on the commentary no, I appreciate game it, bro. like crazy. Like, and if y'all want to know, like, there is like a, a, a side to this, right? Like, Justin obviously, like, he's already a social guy. He does a lot of like, yo, look at my videos and the whole nine. Great at talking on camera, but also he's a student of the game, like of multiple games. And if you watch his content, you can already tell. Like, I can watch your stuff and be like, Justin knows enough about fighting games so where he's gonna break it down. And you do it while you like, oh, like, oh, this works like this. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this works like this. I've seen you do that. Yeah. And I think like that's like very organic. So to share like a mic with you again, like we did it on like E League years ago. Yeah, we years did a long ago, time ago. And you was already like like the way we said it back then, I'm like, yo, Justin, bro, you're like nice. We literally told him like, yo, you're nice at this. And then we did Red Bull Kumite it was me, you and Yipes. Yeah. Bro, that was butter. Like, and it was because you're a student of the game, you're cool with me and Yipes, you know what I'm saying? You got your own yeah. voice. So you already have a base to be a commentator. Aww. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm for real. I'm being serious. Cause like if you look at like there's so many people out there, they either don't have a base or they don't have their own voice. So they're like mimicking other people, or they just don't play the game. Yeah. So it's literally some of those things are like always missing from the formula. But I also feel like there's a lot of people out there that kind of already fit that. You being one of them, Yipes being another one of them, because I feel like Yipes is a player first, just the same. And when I look at Yipes, I'm like, bro, my man is successfully, he's a student of the game. Yeah. He has his own voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he does all these things. So it's like, it goes one and the same. So, yo, shout outs to you, man. No, shout shout to outs you, to bro. like, shout outs to the commentators out there, especially like Justin and, uh, that are taking that route and like finding a voice. And it's very visible. Like, you can see it. I think it's also like, I tell people <clears> like, they ask me why it's so easy for you to like express yourself when talking about such and such. It's like you, like you're a fan. I'm a nerd. Like, there you go. I'm a nerd of the topic. Like if you're, if you want to give me like these players playing this new game, Street Fighter Six, like new patch, I'm gonna be so invested. Yeah. Because there's a lot of times where I get hit up for like doing that. Hey, we want you to do like a hosting or mm -hmm. commentary for like a game that I don't really play, and I just tell them no. no. Like, I, I would rather somebody else that has passion to take that role. Same. Right? You know, Same. that's kind of like what I like. I want to do the stuff that I like, but I don't want to do stuff that I not, I like, I wouldn't say I don't like, but nothing that I'm currently into. No, so like, I remember, and this has happened multiple times where companies, orgs, TOs, yeah. they would hit me up and they'd be like, yo, Steve, you want to do this Call of Duty thing? Like, <laughs> and I'm like, no. Yeah. And they're like, why? I'm like, well, one, like, I'm barely able to play that game. I'm not good at that game. And two, you have so many people out there that are significantly better yeah. at talking about that game than I am. It's like, well, what if we get you somebody that really knows the game? I was like, look, I wouldn't do that. Not, I wouldn't take a paid gig to do something like that. If it was just purely based off of education, fine. If I'm just sitting there talking and you telling me about the game, fine. But I am not going to say I'm going to take a position for something that I don't play something I don't understand and even more so there's a lot of people that work in this field now that could probably use that that would not only just the money if it's a paid gig but just to show people that they exist in that space and they can do it better than most yeah so like you said man I'm I don't want to talk about the stuff that I don't know I want to listen to somebody talk about it because then I can learn and then I understand more about it so no you got the right idea and I completely agree I got a final question for you what's up if I'm about to die but the only way you can save me is you have to eat peas for one year straight. What would you do? I'm gonna make sure Harper's raised right. She's <laughs> gonna go to all the finest schools. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure she's gonna continue the Jay Wong legacy. Look, if J Justin, I love you, okay? I love you, Justin. But 
if you love me, you would never put me in the position to eat peas. What, what if an evil person did it? Oh, if it was an evil person? Oh, I would do it out of spite for sure. Yeah. It, like, it, and on top of that, you'd be like, yeah, we know Steve won't do it to save you, Justin, so you bought it. Yeah, I'm exactly. like, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat the peas and I'm gonna, blah! I'm gonna eat these peas to save Justin. Blah! Keep bringing them in and I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna lose you, a lot you, of weight. You don't think you would like try to like season it differently where it's like edible for you? I've tried this already. Like I've tried putting like, I remember my, my grandmother, she knew that I hated peas. Yeah. Right? So she had like this light cheddar stuff that she would put on it. And I was like, nah, like it's not, like, unless like you, you can pass it, right? I will say this, right? If I had to eat peas for a year straight, I would find ways around it, right? Like, you know what I would do? I would just get a lot of pineapple fried rice because they put ah. peas in there and like I'll let it pass. They're like, dude, you gotta eat them all. I'm like, all right, just give me more rice. Boom. And that right. way I can save you. That way you don't have to worry okay, about it. Okay. I got you, just don't look, I know that I hate peas. You, you got strategies. I got strategies, right? Like you have to think about stuff like this. Like you the do. zombie apocalypse. What if I gotta save Justin? I gotta eat peas nah, for just, a year. Just just leave me, bro. No, the zombie no. apocalypse. <laughs> you one of those too? I, I Oh my I, god. Like, like eventually I'm just like Ain't no way. Like these these zombies have infinite stamina. No. I, I cannot make it out. Listen. I would have to fight instead of run. What's wrong with fighting? You fight every time, bro. But you you get but you, bit. you be playing you, lame though. But you, you gotta, get hit once, you're done. Yeah, that's you know, I look, I tell people all the time, right? If the zombie apocalypse happened, I don't need like a gun. Give me a katana. My ammunition is my will to live, yeah. and I am never running out of that ammunition. Yeah, my man I don't said, give a damn. My man said, I'm, I'm uh, Yasuke, bro. I bro, <laughs> infinite ammo is my will to live, bro. They go, like, how is Steve going to be surrounded by zombies? I'm like, not gonna hood. <laughs> I'm not dying, bro. I'm, I'm one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But damn, Justin, you just gonna give up? Oh my God. But I will say this, though. I feel sorry for people who like wear glasses and stuff during the zombie apocalypse. That's game, bro. I can't like, see. You can't see, if bro. I, if I need my prescription change, what happens? <laughs> <It's done>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is that a human or a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my friend needs help just to get back. This is a. I'm like, what if, what if he's just injured? You know, walking so like walking so slow. I told my moms, right. I told me and my mom, her friends were over at our house once a long time ago. Right? Yeah. This is how you know how well my mom understood me, right? She said, I was like, she was like, yeah, girl, it was about zombies. She was talking to her friends about zombies. I was like, yo, y'all talking about zombies? I'm like, oh, man, that sucks for you guys. <laughs> right? <laughs> it sucks for you guys. <laughs> I was like, it sucks for you guys. like, boy, what was you talking about? I was like, look, if any of y'all got bit by a zombie, yeah, that's game. I will have to finish out myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, Steve, she was like, Steve, what about your moms? I was like, ask my mom. She was like, Steve, she's like, girl, Steve will kill me for if a zombie apocalypse happened, if I got bit. I was like, Ma, you don't want to be remembered like that. If you got bit, I want to make sure that you're going to be remembered correctly, not as a zombie. Yeah. And they just started laughing because they knew that's, that's how I get down. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to preserve, yeah, goddamn yeah, it, you yeah, know? I'm true. not trying to, I don't want you to like make my mom look bad, especially as a zombie. And that's one, one of the more reasons I got to take these zombies out, bro. Okay, all right. Other than that, you know, thank you. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> You're so goofy. That's it's always a pleasure, like. man. It's uh, always a pleasure. You where where can is. people find you, bro? So at Tasty underscore Steve on IG, Twitter, or X, and even on YouTube. Um, I'm really bad at posting on social media, but I'm always posting from time to time. I'm yeah, trying to yeah, get better. Yeah. I'm trying to get Justin Wong status, bro. I ain't that good yet, so. But yeah, Tasty underscore Steve, man. And thanks, Justin, bro. Course, Shout out bro. to Justin Wong for being one of those, man. I've been a fan of this guy for a long time, and it's a pleasure to call him a friend now, and I'm a big fan of, like, everything you do, man. No. Except for the fact that you make your daughter EPs. That's crazy. Listen, I mean, they, they got to grow up properly. Wow. But thank you for, for coming on. I think it was, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. You gave so much energy, and we will see you in the next episode. Peace.